Hello everyone, welcome to part 2 of Copilot video series. In this video, we will be leveraging SharePoint URL. In the part 1, we have used a document directly within Copilot Studio chatbot. But today, we will be using a SharePoint link and we will be using the documents in that SharePoint link. So, let's check this out. I am into the home page of Copilot Studio. I also have a SharePoint URL in which I have a document folder and within the document folder of the SharePoint I have right now two different documents. Now let's just create a chatbot which can use the SharePoint URL and any document in that SharePoint link can be used to answer user specific questions. Right? So I will just create the chatbot by hitting on this create button. I do not want to provide any description or any information in this chatbot so it will take few seconds and you can see an agent or a bot has been created the name is agent 3 right now so since i have not provided any description it will be empty and the general instructions will also be empty for now so you can see it is none provided now the next important point over here is we can go to knowledge and we have to add our knowledge. So in the previous video, we directly inserted a document and hard coded document in here. But this time we will be using this SharePoint link. You can also use other sources like Azure AI search, Azure SQL, Dataverse, which we will see in our future videos. So right now I will click on knowledge. I will go to my the SharePoint link and I will copy the SharePoint link I am copying it till the SharePoint site name which is copilot I will come here and directly paste this URL I will click on add and add again and this SharePoint knowledge source has been added to our chatbot now it can take few seconds to set this up and you can see at the back end that this knowledge source has been added to this chatbot. Now what to do? I will quickly go to the topics and I will verify that within the system topics this conversational boosting is on because this conversational boosting is only used to create generative answers. Right. So once I will click on this conversational boosting it will open up a flow for me and the trigger of the flow is an unknown intent. So what is unknown intent? An unknown intent is when you give some input which is not known to this compiler or the chatbot. For example, if I write something here, this is my test screen in the right side where the user interface can be tested and the data credibility can also be tested. So if I write something, which has no meaning for example a i have given something and since it was an unknown intent it quickly triggered this flow and i am on to this section that is called create generative answers now it's better to add a step in the flow that is called as ask a question i will click on ask a question and i will say a message called as please ask your question and then the response would be captured from the user and for that we have to select users entire response because we need to capture the entire sentence or the entire list of things that the user is asking and you can see that this will be saved in a variable called as variable one and the data type of the variable is a string now one more important thing we need to do is we need to click on this data sources and we need to make sure that our knowledge is selected so right now the, our knowledge is not selected so we will turn this on and we will make that checkbox is selected and the checkbox is our SharePoint URL. Now, once we do that, we make sure that we disable this option because we want the chatbot to search from only things that are mentioned in the document. 
we do not want AI to search from everything using Google and ChatGPT as well. So I have turned this off. Now what I will do, I will quickly hit save. And what it is doing, it is saving all the configurations that we did for the chatbot. Another important thing I want you to see is once you click on the data sources and click on edit, <clears throat> and if you'll go all the way to the down, you will see an advanced option. The advanced options, if you will open it up, you will see that whatever questions that the user will ask, the answers will be captured in the answer variable and the data type is a string data type and it these responses are coming from the llm model that is behind the chatbot okay so this is just for the demonstration purpose so once we have saved all those changes we can clear this communication window by pressing it clear from here and then we can start our conversation again so just to trigger this flow again, I will pass on some thing which has no meaning and it says, please ask your question and let's see what I have in my SharePoint URL. So I have two documents. So let's just ask something from the second document, which is underwriting guidelines. So underwriting guidelines, if you can see is a word document in here, which is having all these list of guidelines that will be required for the underwriters so let's just ask some questions and see whether my bot is able to answer those questions or not so i will try to find something in the document so let's just say mm -hmm, period of cover so let's say i want to know what is my period of cover so i will go to my bot which is now saved i will just ask this question period of cover so it is trying to retrieve the answer from the document and it can take some time oh and see you can see that the answer is generated the period of cover for the miscellaneous trade professional package is minimum of six months and a maximum of 18 months which i can verify from the document it's saying the minimum of six months and the maximum is 18 months including extension so i can see that the bot is giving me the correct answer so you can pass this bot to the users and they do not need to go to the document open the document and search for the questions they can use this chatbot that you built to get answers to any questions it also gives you a link for example this one and once it is clicked it will download the document for you as well so the users will do not have to maintain a document every time they just need to click on this link and the document will automatically be downloaded every time so they do not have to go to the repository and every time um, download it and see where the details are they can ans directly ask the questions and to verify they can download the document as well or since it is giving me giving them the right answer they do not need the verification at all okay that's it for the video but you can play with this flow you can change this from unknown intent to have a conversation like hi please ask your question all these things can be done as well this is just to showcase how you can leverage the sharepoint url for your chatbot so once you are done with it you click on publish and once you publish it you will be air you will be able to save it and and then collaborate it to other business users as well for that you have to go to channels and select your channel for me teams is a very good communication channel where your bot will be deployed to the teams channel or a custom website but for this video, I will just cl click on demo website and you can give your name and give your demo website name and it will be published to the demo website as well. All right. And if you can go to the teams and you can set it up for the teams within teams, it will be kind of coming as a as a teams 
group so if you go to the teams i will quickly show you how it will come within the teams channel so the teams is getting loaded and you can see i created a bot that is called as doc finder and this is how the ui will look and i, I asked question like fabric license and it was giving me reply for that so this is how it can be published using the different channels in here and thanks for that thanks for watching video see you in the next video